Over the past decade, new technology has helped lower the rate of stolen cars and auto break-ins. But as reporter Henna Doba shows us, some criminals have figured out how to beat the system. Like millions of Americans, Eric Ellis uses a key fob to unlock his car. The device only works within a close range. But on this surveillance video, you can see two people walk into Ellis's driveway and unlock his vehicle without the fob. One of them tries to open up other cars, but it doesn't work. I look and everything from the glove box is sitting in the passenger seat. So that's when I knew that somebody had been in there. Turns out the thieves only got away with some workout gear from Ellis's car, but police are seeing more cases where thieves open vehicles without a key. Roger Morris with the National Insurance Crime Bureau says in some cases, criminals are using an amplifying device like this one. If a fob is inside the home, the amplifier can grab the signal, send it to another device, and open the doors. To prevent it, you can keep your fob inside a metal box, aluminum foil, or a Faraday bag, a pouch designed to protect electronics from signal interference. If you can block the signal, if you can block the radio frequency uh, of the device communicating to the vehicle, then you could stop the effectiveness of these. But crooks have also figured out how to steal a fob signal while you're using it. This recreation shows a driver getting out of his car and using the fob to lock it. Morris, in the blue jacket, uses a relay box to intercept the FOB's code. The code is then immediately sent to a second man with a small box that now acts as the vehicle's FOB, allowing him to unlock the car, open the door, start the car, and drive away. Cars are basically computers on wheels, and anything that can defeat the computer system of a car is a very popular item among car thieves and hackers. Morris says automakers are aware of this hacking technology and are working on improvements to stop it. Anadoba, CBS News, New York.